What's up, YouTube? You guys already know what time it is, man. It's time to get to it. All right, and listen, guys, you already know, man, another day is in the books, which means we had another day to get in our bag and do what we do. Matter of fact, I couldn't be more proud of you guys. Major salute to everybody who did their thing on the day, okay? Listen, guys, it's all about stacking small victories on top of small victories, stacking mastery on top of mastery. I say to you guys often that it's a marathon, and I say that for a reason, because on that journey, you guys are gonna be learning skills. Sometimes, believe it or not, the lessons are the greatest skills you will have because they teach you where you went wrong, how can you improve? And that's what I love more about the journey in general, guys, the, the bear markets, the corrections, all those things help sharpen your tool, okay? And you guys, day after day, I'd be like, man, let me wake up in the morning and see who gonna send me something today. And you guys never fail to amaze me with how you guys are progressing day in and day out, especially during the type of time and type of market we're in. And, and I just couldn't be more proud. So guys, to kick it off, I just want to say major salute, okay? Now listen, guys, I got to get you guys ready because as I sit back and assess the market, I can tell that there's a risk on approach right now, meaning a lot of the plays I already have been put us in, been told you guys about way on the front end, are starting to run more and more. Now we're stacking two and three days in a row together, week together, two weeks, okay, of plays kind of slowly but surely heading higher, okay? And so what that typically means is you can expect to see some runs, okay? But like I talked about last night, I need you guys to promise me to put your stop loss on so that the inevitable pullback, the inevitable sell-off, we don't get caught totally off guard, okay? However, as long as you got that on, you can be more comfortable and confident to the upside as some of these plays will have. Listen, guys, I got a few plays that I wanna go through with you guys on today to make sure you are on the lookout and I'm gonna kick it off with SoFi, okay? Now, listen, guys, we've been trying to get this 11 on down, okay? And so now, look at it today, guys. It's up a little bit, but now that our position should be established, hopefully we have dollar cost average. Hopefully we have bought on the dip. Hopefully we got a decent position established in one of our runners so that when you buy low, you can sell high. Now listen to my long-term investors, guys, you can't beat $10 level knowing that you got this play and the upward potential of this moving forward, okay? But for my traders, for those of you that wanna make a little bit of money, in the shorter term, okay? Now, I encourage you guys to do both. Have a two-prong approach like me. I have the stock and I have the options, okay? So I let the stocks ride, but then I'm always selling the options when they hit our price target. Speaking of price target, guys, listen, man, I want you guys, especially if you got in at the 10 and $11 level, I want you to keep an eye out for that 13 to $14 level, and I'll let you guys know if it can get to 15, but be ready to lock in profits and then rinse and repeat that process because you're gonna get ample bites of the apple to be able to just keep making money off the same level, okay? $10, nine, eight to nine dollars to $15, or I should say $13. But if we get the right kind of momentum, it can go to 14, 50, potentially touch 15 and then come back down, okay? Keep an eye out for that. So far, it shouldn't be new to you guys, you already know been talking about this play, been telling us the levels to be building it out at, and we love it even more when we can get it at lower prices, okay? The next one, guys, is Palantir, okay? Ticker symbol PLTR. Look at the day it had today, and just look in general of our high growth plays, our high risk plays. Again, they've been bubbling up slowly but surely, more quietly, but nevertheless, it's been happening. And so I wanted to bring it to your attention just to make sure that you are aware, that you're paying attention, and that you have an exit strategy for this. Now, listen, guys, this year, I'll be honest, you guys know, I always can tell you the play will double. This year, the market is so different because of the, what happened in 2020, okay? What happened with GameStop? So the market is more corrupted and even more manipulated. I can't 
always get you guys to a double up, not in the stock. Definitely in the options like clockwork. That's that's easy money, okay? But with the op with the stock, I need you guys to be looking. When you guys get up 25%, 30%, 40%, really assess where you're at. Okay, so for Palantir, for instance, if we can get this to around 14. 15, maybe that high 19, 80 range. Guys, be looking to lock in those profits because we're not out in the clear yet. And there's still a great chance that players can still come back down to these very levels right here, okay? And then last but not least, guys, the DraftKings. Ticker symbol DKNG. You guys know this is our online gaming play. We like this play and it has huge upside. But like I spoke to about Palantir and what I said is also true for SoFi. Although this is a $70 play, when it gets to running, it won't go to 70 anytime soon. However, it can very well go up another five to 10% from here. And so I want you guys to make sure that you have those levels in mind and that you're looking to take profit, but also know that it's gonna come back down. That's a chance for you to rebuy and then ride it back up okay. That's just on my short term swing trade type of type of deal okay make sure you guys play it like that and listen guys continue to do your thing with options okay but remember this i often say especially if you guys are on the coaching calls with me your entry is one of the most important facets of how to dominate options okay although i'm giving out guidance in the discord although i'm giving out guidance each and every day in these videos guys it's important always allow a dip to happen before you jump in one thing about allowing a dip to occur is you're ensuring that you're getting a much better price than if you just buy at the first random price you see okay learn to have a little support from the chart on that journey too to help you see um whether it's on a one minute the two minute the five minute the 15 minute when the play is going down so that you can assess your dips or get in the habit of looking at the open, the low of the day, the high of the day. Know those ranges so that you guys can better know, okay, this is the level in which the stock is trading in. If you can't get the low, at least try to get somewhere in the middle, okay? That will serve you very, very well when you're trying to get in your options, especially if you're trying to buy a call. And of course, guys, on the flip side of that, when you are buying a put, please take advantage of stocks knowing that they can't run forever. When something takes off to the moon, when something is rocking it up, every stock will cool off, okay? Take advantage of that when it hits a certain level and be willing to ride it down. It's the easiest money you guys can come about as long as you learn and master what you're doing, okay? I won't harp on that, won't belabor the point, but listen guys, we make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result, very few consider the journey. Do me a favor, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.